Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through the data recording setting on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It shouldn't matter if you've got one of the solar versions or non-solar versions. This setting should be available on all the Garmin Instinct watches. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So what exactly am I talking about? Your Garmin Instinct has a built-in GPS function on the watch and there's two different ways you can record the data that's being stored by that Garmin uh, by the GPS and that is smart recording or every second recording. I'm going to go ahead and just jump to the setting and then I'll talk to you about what each of them do. So I'm going to press and hold the menu button. I'm going to arrow down to settings. I'm going to press GPS to select settings. I'm going to use the up or down button. I'm going to go all the way down until I get to system. I'm going to press GPS to select system and I'm going to go all the way down to data recording. I'm going to press GPS to select data recording. You're going to have two options in here, smart and every second. Uh, the purpose of this video is in most cases, I would think you would want to make sure yours is set to smart. So smart recording means when you're using the GPS, whether it's in an activity or a GPS uh, navigation, something like that, it records data only whenever there's a change in direction, speed, heart rate, or elevation. So if there's no change in anything, it's not going to record any kind of new data. If we go down to every second, every second is going to record data every second, no matter what. Even if there's no change in any information, it'll record that data on the log of your uh, watch. So why does this uh, mean anything to you? If you're running into storage issues, you're running out of storage on your watch, you might want to look and make sure that you've got this set to smart. I wouldn't know why you would really want to have it set to every second, especially being that the data that it's recording really shouldn't be any different. Uh, anytime there's a change, you're going to get that change if you've got it on smart versus every second. But nonetheless, it is an option that you can choose. You're going to put it on whichever one you want, choose it, and then once you're done, you can press the back button. Uh, obviously, every second recording will take up a little bit more battery life and it'll take up a lot more storage space on your device. Smart recording uh, will be better with your battery life. It'll use a lot less storage on your device. I hope this makes sense. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. As always, I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.